Saints. Good morning. Uh, my story is about healing. It's about God revealing his love and my purpose after being emotionally lost for most of my life. Until age seven, I lived a happy life with my mother, father, and three siblings. I was very close with my dad. He was my light. He was my world. At age seven, everything changed. My mother informed me that I wasn't going to see my dad anymore and took me to Alaska. Only later in life, I would understand she had good reason for separating us. I couldn't comprehend not seeing my father. I was confused, became depressed, emotionally lost, and cried uncontrollably. The kids at school made fun of me when I'd cry, and after putting up with it, I decided I'd never cry again, and nobody would ever laugh at me again. Heartache and sadness turned to anger and hate. My heart hardened. If I thought someone was making fun of me, I'd attack them in rage. Looking back, I put this seven-year-old innocent young boy aside and created an alter ego to protect him. My alter ego was just as emotionally lost, but brave enough to make decisions, mostly bad ones. By age nine, I hung out with the neighborhood gang and began doing drugs. At 13, my girlfriend and I conceived my first child, and at 14, I was incarcerated for the first time. I'd spend the majority of the next 10 years completely lost and incarcerated. I paroled from San Quentin Prison when I was 24 years old. While in prison, I came, while in prison, I'd gone forward at an altar call and accepted Jesus into my life. I began reading the Gospels every day, and that seed grew. I wanted to change and was tired of that life. I started to seek answers about the way I felt, acted, and behaved. I discovered behavioral psychology and realized there are reasons why we do things based on our environment, things that happen to us, and people we allow in our lives. I began moving forward in life. I attended college, found a great job, and started my own company. Years went by and things seemed okay. However, internally I felt lost and as if I couldn't get past a certain stage in my life. There was a huge wall, a block. A psychologist once asked me what was on the other side of the wall. I saw a beautiful field, trees, blue sky, and I felt love and freedom was on the other side. She suggested I picture a door in the wall and that I could open the door and walk through it. I could picture it, but I couldn't, walk, I couldn't open the door. I, I attended church regularly and prayed daily. I practiced and learned to quiet my mind while listening for God to speak. Praying to God to break down this barrier that was holding me back from living a healthy, happy life we all deserve. One day, God gave me a prophetic vision. Me, at the age of seven, I was in a field standing at a see-through wall. Then the wall completely disappeared, yet I wasn't, I wasn't able to walk through it. God showed me a detailed vision of me at the age of seven as an adult and with my father standing there. He began to speak love, forgiveness, and healing over us. It was finally time to set this boy free. I was overwhelmed with love and peace. The boy walked slowly into the field and disappeared. The wall was gone. The vision was so profound, I felt freedom I hadn't felt since I was seven years old. The boy was healed. With all I'd studied and accomplished, none of it mattered. It took God's love to heal the boy and release that child. I'd put aside almost 40 years earlier. Heal the boy and the man will appear. It's a book I've written. With some experiences I've survived on the streets and in prison, the book has tools to help you understand. The book has tools to help you understand and heal from childhood trauma. I work with people one-on-one -on -one as a life coach, and I've partnered with a good friend, and we've, we've created a ministry called Unchained Men. Our goal is to help men realize we are beaten up and neg negatively conditioned by society, how we conform to the world. These workshops and seminars, we help men understand and remember who God created us to be. When God spoke to me, I realized life didn't happen to me. It happened for me. It all happened so I could help others heal from their past and live the wonderful life God has intended for all of us.